find the equation of the circle which touches both the axis and the straight line 4x plus 3y equals to 6 in the first quadrant and lies below it. We have to find out the equation of this circle which touches both the axis and the straight line 4x plus 3y equals to 6 in the first quadrant and lies below it. Now, Whenever the circle touches both the axes, we know that the, the center is nothing but equals to of the coordinates radius comma radius because we know horizontal distance is radius, vertical distance is radius. So, we can take the center as r comma r. Now, if you are able to find out the value of r, then we have solved this problem. And we know that the perpendicular distance from center to the line 4x plus 3y minus 6 equals to 0 is radius. So, let us find out that perpendicular distance. We will write down 4 into r plus 3 into r minus 6 divided by square root of 4 square plus 3 square. What is our formula? Ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. If we want to find out the perpendicular distance of point x1 comma y1 from the line ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Now, this is equals to r. So, let us calculate this. We will have 7 r minus 6 by 5 equals to plus or minus r. So, we have two options one is 7 r minus 6 is 5 r another is 7 r minus 6 is minus 5 r. Now, from the first one we will have r equals to 3 and from the second one we will have r equals to 6 by 12 which is equals to 1 by 2. So, we got two options for circles equation one the circle with radius as 1 by 2 and center 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 another is radius equals to 3 and the center is 3 comma 3. Now, the extra condition we have to take care is that the equation of the circle and this circle should be in the first quadrant and lies below the line 4 x plus 3 y minus 6 equals to 0. So, one way what we can do we can find out the coordinates where the line is cutting the x and y axis substituting y equals to 0, x equals to 4 x is 6, x is 6 by 4, 3 by 2 comma 0. Similarly, the y coordinate we can get by taking x equals to 0, 3 y equals to 6, 0 comma 2. Now, if you take radius as 3 comma 3, so we are talking about the center somewhere here. Whereas, if you take 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2, you are talking about the center below the line. The, so, we immediately know that we have to consider the case and radius of 1 by 2. So, our equation will be x minus 1 by 2 whole square plus y minus 1 by 2 whole square equals to 1 by 2 whole square. Let us simplify that we will have x square minus x plus 1 by 4 plus y square minus y plus 1 by 4 equals to 1 by 4. Let us simplify that we will have x square plus y square minus x minus y plus 1 by 4 equals to 0 cancelling this 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 will multiply with 4 so that we can avoid that fractional part we will have 4 x square plus 4 y square minus 4 x minus 4 y plus 1 equals to 0. So, this is the equation of the circle which touches both the axis and lies in the first quadrant and also below the given line 4 x plus 3 y minus 6 equals to 0. Let us have a recap how we have solved this. We know that whenever a circle touches both the coordinate axis, the coordinates of the center will be r comma r 
because horizontal distance vertical distance both are equals to r so the coordinates of the center will be r comma r and the extra condition we know is that the perpendicular distance from line to center is radius now leveraging that we are able to calculate two values for r 1 by 2 and 3 now 3 is lying above the line so we have taken 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 